So we're right back to the same pizza delivery uh, problem. Uh, if you want to refer back to triad exercise 10.1.2, uh, we can specifically see in this instance what changing the sample size does to the interval because everything else is the same in this problem as triad exercise 10.1.2 other than that the sample is 50 pizza delivery restaurants uh, instead of 28. So everything else is the same. Uh, we're assuming average pizza delivery times are normally distributed uh, with an unknown population mean and a population standard deviation of six minutes. That's the same. Uh, the sample mean delivery time is 36 minutes. That's the same. And we're looking at a 90% 90, 90 confidence level for our interval. And that is the same. So everything is the same, only we're going from n equals 28 to n equals 50. So we can write down our given information as usual. So we know the population standard deviation is 6 minutes. And in this case, the sample size is 50 pizza delivery restaurants. Uh, we know that the sample mean is 36 minutes. 90% uh, confidence interval. We're looking for an error bound. which equals the z-score times the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. As so for 90% confidence, we should know that that value is 1.645 for our z-score. The standard deviation is 6. The sample size now is 50, so the square root of 50, 6 divided by the square root of 50. Uh, if we wanted to simplify it, that's 1.645 times 6 over 5 times the square root of 2. Nothing cancels uh, in this case. And our decimal approximation to the nearest thousandth is 1.39. Six. So then our confidence interval equals our sample standard or our sample mean rather, sorry, of 36 minutes minus our error bound, which is 1.396 to 36 plus 1.396. which equals 34.604 to 37.396. Uh, so we can say that we are 90% confident that the true population mean delivery time uh, is between 34 6 we'll round to the nearest tenth and 37.4 minutes. Now, if you look back to uh, the triad exercise at 10.1.2, we had between 34.1, so let's write that down 34.1 and 37.9 minutes. So what did increasing the sample size do for us? It narrowed the interval just a little bit. It made the lower bound a little bit higher, made the upper bound a little bit lower. So same confidence, smaller interval because we increased the sample size. And that makes sense because if we look at the error bound, we're dividing by the square root of the sample size. So if we divide by a larger sample size, the square root of a larger sample size, we're going to get a smaller error bound, which is going to 
uh, result in a narrower interval. 